Where is it? exists in knowing that you know nothing a good friend told me that once possible Cassandra yes I used to be called the eagle bearer but Icarus is long gone I've been searching for you but you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus! You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose, to find you, and put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh, no. You can keep it. It's broken. But you used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Herodotus could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order? Chaos? If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist order. Now I fight for choice, freedom, chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have walked from one end of the earth to the other. This... belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. so much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Cassandra again.
What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Nemas. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world. It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know, Pythagoras? It's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had the stuff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along. He's your father, after all. He was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> Stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means he's sorry for your loss. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. For all we know, anything's possible. And you would know. As the eagle-bearing demigod you are, perhaps she, too, is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. There's much to do, and many unknowns on our horizon. 